Over the past couple of years, teaching and coaching online business owners how to build businesses that are racially equitable, I've uncovered three stages that coaches fall into. Now, stage number one is the awareness stage where they are aware and certainly 2020 really pushed a lot of awareness in our online coaching industry, allowing a lot of coaches to see how there's a lot of racial inequity. Now, there's that awareness stage where one is aware that there's something around me in my industry that is inequitable. I can see that there aren't many people of color represented within the clients that I serve. As I look around, I can see that there are not many coaches who are people of color and that needs to change. That doesn't sit well with me. It needs to change. How can I be more inclusive? But the issue that gets in the way, even though you have that awareness, is potentially the fear of getting it wrong, uh, saying the wrong thing, causing more harm. And also the idea that you have all these resources available to you. And now the issue is, how do you make sense of this information? Do you have a checklist? Do you have resources? You're not short of resources. In fact, if anything, you're overwhelmed because you don't know where do I begin? Um, what do I pick up and complete? And in the process of potentially picking up something and reading it, it just raises more and more questions. And what then this does to you in the awareness stage is that it builds um, feelings of, too hard. This is too hard. And I'm just going to pop it here for a moment and I'll come back to it when I can. Or I don't even know if I'm going to come back to it, but it's just too overwhelming right now. And there are other things that are a priority in my business that I am building as a coach and that I am scaling and growing. The second stage is the stage where one is activated. You saw the things that were happening in 2020, you were made aware and you took action. You took that um, course, you read the book, you listened to the podcast, you started following educators in this space. But it got to a point where once you had done that, you struggled with how do I stay consistent? How do I stay consistent in this work? Because this work requires intentionality and I have other competing priorities. I am trying to keep the doors of my business open. I am working on strategies that are very much related to revenue genera generation. And so how do I incorporate inclusion work? And so being at that point where you're stuck and thinking of inclusion work as separate from your business and your life and not finding a place where you can keep doing it and being consistent. So hitting that that wall where you're like, I know this is important work. I need to make time for it. Um, potentially being in that knee jerk reaction when I see something I react and do, but only for a short span of time. And then there is stage number three. Stage number three are the allies. They're the people who have been doing this work for a long time. They are seasoned. They're not perfect. They do make mistakes. But in the process of making mistakes and doing better, they are not quieting down. They are bold. They are taking uh, courageous steps. They're speaking up. They're using their platforms um, as a force for good. They are amplifying Black, Indigenous, and people of color. They are, um, they've gone beyond taking action. They are allies. They've been in this work for a long time. And now um, they want to do more. How can I do more? How can I bring the people who are part of my community along on this journey? How can I be that catalyst for change at a deeper level? Now, out of all of this forms the framework that I created, um, the three A's of anti-racism and using this as a guide specifically for coaches in the online space to identify where do you fall under the framework and what are the specific steps for you as an individual? Because being given a list of resources that everybody has been asked to um, take may not be uh, 
I guess, suitable for you. It, it may not feel in alignment because it might be too overwhelming. What I've gone ahead and done is created a quiz, a quiz that allows you to self-identify where are you on this racial equity journey and what step, what one step can you take so that you can stay in consistent action. And these are steps that will not cost you money. These are steps that are to resources that are freely available to you. And this is a great step to take. It's a great way to get plugged into this work and continue on this journey or get started if you never have. But it's a way for us to be able to lock arms, uh, move the needle forward, as I have always said, and so that we can begin to see those inclusive spaces that we are holding, attracting more people of color that we can be of service to and that we can make a difference in their lives. So go ahead and take the quiz. It is in the link in my bio or below this video in the comments. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing where you fall in your racial equity journey.